Hello, Drake here. Another vlog update for the last day of January. Woohoo! Payday is Friday, I guess, so gotta wait one more day, unfortunately. Tax season's in the air. Time to get my taxes done. Most of it's already done, so I'm just waiting for people who have to still mail me. Mail. Yeah, in this date and time, you could just email it, or actually, it's probably confidential information, so a secure website would probably be better. Banks already do that. They email me that. It's ready. You could pull your uh, documents. The only other thing I need to double check is I think on Webull and a few other sites, but I don't think I have any holdings on those sites anymore. The last one was up, Upwork. No. Up, uh, uphold might be the other one, but... I think I closed that one out. I started shrinking some of my resources back down. So, anyhow, it's running on a bunch of other stuff over there. So, we'll see. We shall see. But, anywho, a um, couple of things going on. Good news uh, the layoffs have started. Bad news the economy is a lot worse than we thought. And, uh, Convoy time. Well, Saturday, Sunday, but I'm going to be at Vegas. Last minute decision to still do the trip. I should have just said no because a friend of mine just invited me to tail on Friday. And I'm like, if I cancel it now, I won't get any. Because I used to give some cash for the gas, but now there isn't. So I'm sure there's no bonus money on anything I do. So, And I would rather take a pay raise than a bonus. So... But I will take the trip and probably make my trip out there. I got a friend over there, but I don't think he's worth going to. I think he moved further away from the Vegas Strip area. So I'll just hang out in the Strip and Hotel and check out some of the stuff. Just the normal sightseeing. I think it's going to be cold, so I'll probably have to dress for warmer weather or whatever the case is. I'll layer up the usual, and that's about all I can do. And have a little bit of time in the room and that's it. Um, Got to try to keep it on a tight, tight, tight budget. Sales are practically dead in my end. So I'm probably going to move. I do have an interest in running a few more projects, maybe uh, restocking a few things along the way. The stocking part is a little bit pushy because I don't have storage space. I shrank the storage space down last year and I was just talking to a friend of mine last weekend that he might know someone who could carry my products and I can buy them larger volumes. So that might be a possible direction to go, but um, I don't know how to handle it that way because stocking in goods, I'd rather have a place of my own first and then put some stock and at least has some rotating inventory going in and out and then I can do custom projects again because they're very expensive and they're very low ROI so if it's going to be a very low ROI I'm going to try one more time but if it doesn't run it doesn't run I'll just cancel and move on to something else because it's not worth my time to worry about that I had a good it had a good run but I have other projects and I've got guys wanting the skill sets but every time I'm trying to bring it in saying yeah I know this stuff you don't have to spend hours trying to teach me something I already know I should be teaching you something that you don't already know but if you're going to argue with me and uh, rather than build stuff up then sorry I don't really want to spend time doing that because there's many other things I can be doing and uh, I'm going to take it a little more easier now because obviously um, everything's gone up 30 percent at least so even though I got a nice little uh, tostada I don't even know if it was a tostada usually the, the, the thing is higher up it's like this big of a shell it's just a bowl but and I told them hold the beans but they always just flood the thing with beans so which kind of ticked them off I guess but at least it was a uh, rewarded uh, meal that came on the app I haven't tried the uh, Opoyo local app, so I figured give it a try. It didn't look like I had 10,000 points. So that's a, that's enough to buy a meal. So I just bought a meal. <laughs> I think I got that high because at one point in time, you could scan receipts in, and I found a bunch of receipts. So I scanned them in. It was on the floor because people are slobs. So I went ahead and picked up the receipts and tossed it away. Scanned it while I was at it, and then gave me the points. But that's been years ago. So they didn't, they didn't dump the receipts. Um, Del Taco, they keep forgetting to give me the receipt, which is getting annoying, but you only get like a few points out of there too on their system. 
It's funny because their system, at least one place I've been having trouble, but I think either the 8 or the 0 looks the same, so I'm going to have to take some educated guesses to figure out if it's that. But yeah, I do pick up some snacks on the way and keep it a tight budget because the cost of living is asinine in California, and even though the wealthy people has a really good starting point in the starting line, a head start, uh, doesn't mean they're going to stay in California and be taxed to submission. So, and a lot of the retirement folks move to Florida because of the no income tax, so they can still get their Social Security and other benefits as well. But they are now having problems, and this uh, war against people that are skills and merit is now starting to become a problem. And another friend is not answering his phone, so I'm going to give him one more call in a few minutes to see. I fear that he has a loss at hand, because that's the only reason why he's not answering, unless he's with customers again, doing Uber delivery. But he might be, because it might be a busy night, as the traffic was really shitty today at really early, at 6, when I called him to see if he was there. I just went to his house instead. It was literally on the way over when I left the other building. But yeah, it's been a shitty Wednesday night, so that's going to be it. Uh, Projects-wise, I don't have... If I decide to run that design, there's another guy I might partner with. I also got to do some totaling up because there's one Vellies for sale, and that would give me the opportunity to begin totaling stuff up. Since I'm going to be out on a trip, I could do all of that remotely, so that gives me something to do while I'm at the hotel when I pull in Friday night. Um... Like I said, I'm probably going to go on a tight budget at Vegas this time, so don't expect me gambling. Um, I'm going to look for the nearest subways. I got coupons there. I might even do delivery, but I think I can find one on my phone and walk over and grab a sandwich and bring it back to the hotel. I'm going to be. I'm probably going to bring my kigu because it's nice and warm and drakey. Yeah, he's a nice kigu. But I don't even know if I even want to do that. I'm just going to pack light, bring my duffel bag and my laptop, and probably work in the room, and that's about it the whole day. Someone may invite me Saturday. Saturday might be because it's yeah, we're staying at New York, New York, which last I remember they do have an arcade, but I'll just visit it and see if there's anything interesting worth playing or doing anything. Might wear a tail. I got a metal tail, which is smoke resistant, which is why I wear it. So it's a casino. I mean, everyone smokes. So, so that's about uh, my limits to that. And I'll probably do... do, 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 do. Pretty much, pretty much a room con. I don't know how the internet's at. A lot of these hotels have a timeout built into them. So I'll probably bring my router. And I've got two different routers. And one of them is an old Cradle Point, which is a decent router. But for processing power, meh. But it has all the hardware. So if it has the hardware I could use, and I think I still have an activated service for, the, for that router. So I'm going to bring that one. Because that will allow me to connect my room's equipment if the hotel Wi-Fi is acting shitty. Because um, I may have to tunnel in to get into the back office. And uh, bringing your own router and your own system, you know it works already. It just has to be uh, reprovisioned. I should say provisioned, but it will update itself to the uh, for, uh, Verizon network in the area. I'm assuming they have 5G, depending on where the hotel's at. I don't know, because you know telecom companies don't always get their foot around the corner of these places. But we'll see when we get there because it's at New York, New York this year. Last year it was Treasure Island where, I, where they stole stuff. Obviously the roommate was that. So also I don't really want to bring much stuff that I can easily replace. Tech hardware, I don't care if they get lost or stolen because I have so much of it. But I can carry at least some equipment with me that may have some confidential information on it. So like the laptop or whatever. So. But I will say I may be on VR, so if you catch me on there, I'll probably just be on the app. I will not get the full VR, even though I think there is a Walmart, and I don't know what the cost is to buy a VR headset today. I heard they went up in price, so it may be outside of my budget range. It was decent when it was at 300 but now it could be higher, it could be lower. I don't know. Um, if it works on the wireless mode, even better, because modern laptops have wireless on it, so you can do that. But... That's pretty much my little five-minute spiel for the end of July. So I'll talk to you later. Be blogging, and maybe I'll talk about other stuff. I'm going to start putting together a list next time, so I have something to talk about. 
and update and discuss, cuss and discuss. So I'll talk to you guys later. Until next time.